uh, the saw blade will be 10 mil below this bar. This gorgeous lady. Howdy, howdy. Dick. 72 acres. It's bread time. You want safety? Stop watching now. Our biggest problem at the moment is room in the fridge. So once we're back with a nice big bucket of milk, it's time to get into the fridge and take out the previous day's milk. Maggie's come to see the process. Skim the cream off the top to make butter, use for our porridge or various other things that we use the cream for, and then to bottle up the new milk. And back to a full fridge. Thankfully we've met some amazing neighbours and friends who enjoy our milk and give us delicious things like lamb and honey. Pea days! Eggs and peas, eggs and peas. What is wrong with our corn? Let us know. It could be burned from the straw, so just moving the straw back. How many days ago did we put these in? Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Beautiful. Did we get these got these in January? Yeah, January, so it's at nearly six, six months. Or six, seven months. They rot down well, don't they? It was a hundred now look at it. That is just soil. Is it? Beautiful. This is the next garden bed. That's how you build a garden. That's how you do it. Chuck them in. She'd be right, mate. Hello. Do you want some more? So, that log's done. I'm gonna do, you see it, that one now. Uh, that's more decking boards. That's gonna be by the bathroom. Then get into the big one to do the joists and the bears. No, the bears are done, so it's the joists to do. Whew, going well though, happy. Really hard going. It's warm and the iron bark is like iron. That piece of wood is it's 2.1 meters long. What's that in uh, old money? Nine foot. And it's taken me 25 minutes per slab. I've done two slabs. I've gone through one chain and four tanks of fuel. <sighs> That's hard work. Morning guys. It's a glorious day here in Queensland. Um, now, back on the wood. So what we've got to do today is we've got to transport some of the timber that I've cut. We're going to be using it for the bathroom floor. I think you can see it down there, can you? That there. That, yesterday, was one complete log. Thanks to the awesomeness of the Alaskan sawmill that I made, and Nick. Um, it's cut into the floor, so we've got to start Miss Massey, move them over to the house yard, move the next log into position, and get sawing. So let's get sawing. Is there such a finer view than that? Dog, mountain, creek, tractor. Not in my world. Oh, there's one, one, one other thing that's uh, pleasant to the eye. That's my Nick. Love you, darling. Dogs going down the creek. So, 
Miss Massey. Yeah, most people would jump on the tractor, turn the key, start her up. But Miss Massey's got a bit of a problem. The starter motor's stuffed. But uh, I've got a solution for that coming up. But meanwhile, we've got a bump starter, hence uh, on the hill. Sorry, on the hill. So I'm just going to jump start the tractor. And away we go! Oh, that way! Yeah, love it's bloody gorgeous. Get that video done. Obviously you're going to edit this part out because I'm walking to the tractor to drive the tractor in the shop. I want to show you guys just how beautiful this iron bark is. Have a look at that iron bark. And the way that saw's cut it, is, I'm so impressed. That there is gum. It's a little bit darker. So that's what we're going to be using for the uh, decking. This will be the bathroom floor. Super chuffed. Look how wide this board is. I reckon that's got to be half a meter wide bloody heavy too oh, look at that one unfortunately split probably just cut that up cut the split out of it and uh, it will look wonderful I promise you All right, let's get us over the house. Gotta turn that bloody beeper off. Drive me crazy. Let's go and pull that other log into position. Start cutting her up. Are you coming? Are you coming? Oh come on man.
this log through out uh, to here. Just getting the green strap. It's a really good strap, this one. Donated to us by Les and Anne Marie. You've seen them uh, on the episodes with the doing the solar panels and the fascia. If you haven't seen that episode, I suggest you go and watch it because it's funny, as always. I think I may need to back up a bit more. I'm going to put the brake on this time and roll off that log. You never want to roll off a log. And down we go. Sadie, stop. I'm filming. Unless you want to wear the microphone, do you? Hey, do you? Yeah? You little terror. Yeah, buddy. Arr. So what I'm going to try and do, use these arms to pick this timber up and put my newly made frame underneath it. So if I can get these down, they're sticking up at the moment. I'll try and get them down. Hello, are you going to help? You pass the chain underneath. <sighs> See what that does, hey? Away. Here comes the fun part. I think if I cut about uh, 10 mil below, that should take most of this off apart from this part here. See how we go with it, I'll do 10 mil. Which what I mean is uh, the saw blade will be 10 mil below this bar. This bar, this tube is 110, and this frame is 50. So if I go to 170, like in anything else, setting up takes the uh, time. Remember I say my uh, motto, measure twice. Cut once. So let's put the saw blade through and measure it off that. Thread the needle. Right, let's get this level. And what do I say? 110 plus the 50 is 160, so let's go 170, right? I think I can go 180. 180. Why, you ask? Because I said so. 
All right, I'm going to put some oil in here and we're going to get into it. This is our recycled oil. This is uh, the engine oil out of the car. So instead of chucking it in a landfill or whatever they do with it these days when they say they recycle it, I'm uh, recycling it myself. And bar oil is so expensive. So I've got bar oil in the chainsaw itself, but this is just an extra coolant for the chain. Oops, saves the chain getting too hot. Two tanks of fuel, and that time lapse was 35 minutes in real time. Get from one end to the other. Saw's doing really, really well. It's still quite sharp, but bloodwood is so bloody tough. Um, if you know of a better way to cut it than this, drop a comment below and take the piss. But anyway, I'm gonna take that off, show you what it's like, um, and then get it set up for the next cut. See if I can wrangle it out of here. Here we go. That's what it looks like. Very ribby, but I think that's the actual um, other saw blade. It's a semi-chisel. No matter what I do, 30 degrees or 25 degrees cut on the chisel of the tooth of the saw. She seems to cut like that, but I'm happy. That's a nice, nice looking bit of wood. And that's planed up. You'll make great furniture, but for us, it's a joist. What is it, buddy? Is it joist? Or joist? Hey, bro. Hello. Hello. Hello, darling. You mad dog? Are you mad dog? Oh, here we go. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, here he is. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, you crazy dog. Here comes Sadie. Here comes Tilly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you all of you. Yay. Yay. Hello, darling. Hello. Ow, ow, ow. Sharp nails. You want me to throw half a tree for you? Okay, back to it. Doors are closing, coming off the hinges. When hard living has got you in its clinches. <laughs> that's it for today run out of fuel and the chains blunt I've got one sharp one but I'll, I'll sharpen that this evening now I'm gonna go and get Nick and we've got to get some sand to fill in the driveway for the people that's coming um, next weekend for the party because we've had so much rain in the past couple of months it's still coming off the mountain and uh, part of the driveway is just basically a creek now and it's a quad mile so got to get that done and then, um, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's a very important note. Here we go. Yeah, it's called a spot fire. Well. The longer I film for, the longer you dig for. Running. And down through into the creek bed. Till he sent the guinea fowl back home. I should start calling you Mary. It's better than our dinner. We're going to cut that, Nick and I, today. Mm, 
birthday is coming up in about a week. The toilet seat's cracked. 